Hello, my friends. Welcome to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name's Katie, and if you're new here, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you're back, welcome back. Today I am here with an updated diamond painting stash video. Yes, you guys, I am doing another one of these videos where I take you through my entire diamond painting kit stash, which has accumulated over the past almost two and a half years at this point. Uh, so in case you're curious, I started diamond painting in April of 2020, like many of us did, <laughs> uh, when we were all stuck at home for a while, discovered a new craft, and uh, quickly discovered that it was my new favorite thing of all time. Uh, so I have accumulated quite a stash over <laughs> the past two plus years. As of the time that I'm filming this, it's actually July of 2022. And I did a stash video about one year after I started diamond painting and had around 100 kits in my stash at that point. My stash has continued to grow significantly <laughs> and um, I have had some requests for an updated stash video, so that's what we're gonna do today. I am anticipating that this is gonna be quite a long video because my stash has doubled and then a little bit since my last one and I'm gonna try to zip through it as quickly as I can. I wanna give just a couple of really quick context points though. So um, first, when it comes to stash videos, uh, there's just general courtesy as far as we don't shame each other for our stashes. Uh, we love what we love and we have what we have. We collect what we collect. Um, at least for me, I have been diamond painting, like I said, for over two years at this point. I've completed over 85 kits, which it, a lot of those were very, very, very large. So technically this stash, I could knock it out in the next few years easily easily. <laughs> um, I actually, the book that I have here is actually just a log book of my finished paintings. So yes, I have finished a lot of diamond paintings uh, in the past two plus years. Um, so I would appreciate if you could uh, keep it pretty kind in the comments, please. And feel free to let me know in the comments though, what your stash looks like, or if it's, if diamond painting isn't something that you craft and do and collect, feel free to let me know what that is. Um, the second thing I wanted to mention is one of the reasons that I have a large stash at this point is because I have been sent some of these kits for free, whether it's to do sneak peek unboxings or PR kinds of unboxings. That's where a lot of those kits have come from. Now I am looking at using this um, stash video as an opportunity to uh, sort of take count of what I have and de-stash. So uh, I'm not sure when and where that's going to happen, but I am planning to make a list as I go of kits that I am planning to de-stash. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with um, all the diamond painting kits that did not come in their own specific like individual boxes. And so I've stored the canvases flat in a large artist portfolio, which I'll link below in case you're curious. And then I'm gonna work my way through the different kits as far as um, the kits that I have the fewest of to the kits that I have the most of. So that's the order you'll see it in. I'm gonna link to all of the kits below, in the, or sorry, all of the shops below in the description and would encourage you to check them out. I will say that um, I'm not gonna be showing any unlicensed artwork in this particular stash video. I do have some kits that are in my stash that were from before I had learned about how important licensing is and why it matters. And I just have chosen not to promote or show those particular kits on my channel any longer but I also don't want to add to the waste in the world so I will either gift them or work on them off of my channel at some point um, but I, I have those as well but you're not going to see those so everything that you're going to see linked below is shops that do have legally licensed artwork if you're curious to learn more about why licensing is important I will link to a video on that below in the description as well so without further ado let's get started with this stash. Have fun. All right, so we are gonna get started with the kits that did not come in boxes in some form. Uh, so just depending on how they were shipped and whatnot, um, they came in a form that it just made more sense to store the canvases in, uh, I use a big artist portfolio, and then I have a tote that I store the diamonds in. I actually get asked about this a lot, but I have a very large artist portfolio um, that I got on Amazon. I use these to both store um, my canvases like this, as well as my completed diamond paintings. I think this fits up to like a 60 by 80 centimeter uh, kit, a canvas in them. So I will try to remember to link it below for you guys. But 
let's go ahead and I'm gonna try to zip right through these we have a lot to get through tonight <laughs> so first up this is a kit that's from distracted by diamonds it is from before they switched over to setting out their kits and boxes um, this is a piece that's licensed from the artist Gretel Lusky uh, it is just titled where is the title on these ones <laughs> uh, it doesn't have it on here it's something about a mermaid and the artist is Gretel Lusky as so this is from one of the original runs of distracted by diamonds kits and then this piece this is from a shop that used to be called the diamond painting factory uk and now uh, is called i think mindfulness diamond painting and this is a willowing arts piece it is licensed and yeah she's super cute uh, these you won't be able to necessarily see the image because they are double-sided adhesive but this is from Mary's diamonds before they switched to poured glue and there's this piece it is licensed I'm blanking on the exact name of it and then we have this piece which was actually it was part of a promotion that I got a surprise kit for free <laughs> also double-sided adhesive before they switched to having um, dedicated boxes and poured glue and then this is a piece that I still really need to complete because I have not worked on a, a kit from this company before. This is from a company called Diamond Art Dreams. Uh, this piece is by Sherry Baldy and is called Fluffy Fairy Cake. <laughs> and I just thought she was super, super cute. Um, it is licensed from Sherry Baldy and um, I got this kit so I could try out the company, but I haven't had the chance to work on it yet, so I'll have to do that soon. This is from a really fantastic small shop on Etsy called True Artist Diamond Painting. They actually sent this one to me to uh, do a preview of, and it's called Be Your Own Spin Class by the artist Liam Eisenberg. It was inspired by the happenings of the, the you know what. <laughs> and so this is a nice snack size kit. I really love the quality on True Artist Diamond Paintings kits. Um, and I think that they have a really nice selection of licensed artwork. This is also from True Artist Diamond Painting. And of course it's a dragon, so I had to have it. It's called Crystal Dragon. The artist is Elettra Brunelli really want to work on this one sometime soon too. <laughs> this is a really fun holiday kit that I'm planning to work on this holiday season. It's called Season Bright. It's from Bella Safina. It's the first kit that I purchased from them and actually the only one so far, but I've seen this one completed and it is so magical. So I definitely want to work on this one this Christmas. This is actually from Heaven and Earth Designs, their crown jewel canvases section. It's a little hard to make out the image, but it is a piece by John William Goddard. And I got it to do for Summer with the Masters, but I have yet to actually work on it. I still have a little bit of time, actually. I could squeeze it in before the end of this summer. Um, but I got this, and I think you can choose if you want black or white or color printing, and it has square diamonds. But yeah, if you didn't know, Heaven and Earth Designs, who is mostly known for their cross stitch charts, they actually do have a set section of licensed printing diamond paintings as well you do have to source your drills from elsewhere but anyway I have that one which is very very small and itty bitty <laughs> and then I have this larger one that I got and you might be able to tell from the image uh, this is by Jeremiah Kettner and this is mini flower kitty but it is a bit on the larger side both of these kits even though they are wildly different sizes both have like 80 something colors, which I think is hilarious on a canvas this tiny. <laughs> but um, yes, yeah, so those, those are my two crown jewel canvases canvases. I like their canvases because they almost have a linen feel to them on the back. But yeah, I'll I like those and I, I need to try one of those out. <laughs> now these again, you're actually not gonna be able to see the image. I'll try to pop it up on the screen. This is from Royal Diamond Painting and it is double sided adhesive. I've heard that they are switching back to poured glue. It doesn't seem to be super consistent, uh, but this is one of the first two kits that I ordered from Royal Diamond Painting, and um, this one is the second. <laughs> uh, so I have these two, and we'll hopefully get to work on one of these and try them out at some point if I can salvage from the wrinkles. The rest of these are all gonna be from Dye Moon Shop or DIY Moon Shop. I have quite a few of these. Now, as of literally less than a month ago, I think they switched over to actually having dedicated boxes. You'll see some of those a little bit later in this video. Uh, but for now, what you're gonna be seeing is just the, the ones that came as blank canvases when they had them packaged a little bit differently. Not blank canvases 
uh, just flat canvases <laughs> as is. So this is the absolutely glorious Gamer Girl. Um, this is by, I'm looking on her name, Medusa the Doll Maker. I got this one in the largest size because Diamond Shop does offer a variety of sizes. You can choose if you want round or square diamonds, but I wanted this in the largest size possible so I could get all of these amazing details. I love Medusa the Doll Maker's artwork and love that Diamond Shop licenses with her. Uh, this piece is the very classic <laughs> and well-known Sleeps with Butterflies by Margaret Morales. And by the way, these are from the oldest run of canvases. Um, so these ones do not have the inventory list down on the side. This is from before they made changes about a year ago. So um, you yeah, have Sleeps with Butterflies. She's kind of one of my rainy day kits. You'll hear me talk about some what I call rainy day kits in this uh, video. These are kits that just have special meaning to me. This is another one actually. This is La Lune by Cheriuki. I adore this one so, 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 so much. My rainy day kits are ones that I'm saving for a rainy day, like when I need to pick me up, um, kits that have special meaning to me that I just wanna like sit on and savor for a little while. Uh, this is Dawn by Kathy Delance, and I wanted to try out one of their really small sizes. Uh, this one is uh, 20 by 31 centimeters and is so darn cute. This is one of their newer canvases that um, they changed the canvas material, they changed the manufacturer as far as like you get a different number of colors that comes on them. And um, they still have the border, but now we get like an inventory, like a legend on the side. Uh, this adorable kit is from Cheriuki and it's called Bloom. And I've seen this one completed and she's so sweet. Cheriuki is one of my favorite artists that they license from. Uh, this is a big one. <laughs> this was a splurge. This is uh, Dreamer by Jeremiah Morelli. And Jeremiah Morelli's artwork is very often stolen, uh, but Dye Moon Shop does have a license to produce his work. And I absolutely adore this artwork so much. So, but it is a big one. I got it again. And I think not quite the largest size because I really wanted to be able to make out the words on the books when they're done. So they called him a dreamer. <laughs> This has lots of special meaning to me. This is Fruits Basket by Cheriyuki. This is one of my favorite manga and anime. Um, and I just love this piece. As soon as Cheriyuki released it as an art print, I sent it over to Dye Mood Shop. I was like, is there any chance that you guys would license this piece? Because I adore this artwork and this would make my heart so happy. So yes, this is Fruits Basket by Cheriyuki. This is called Guardian and it's also by Cheriyuki. Can I, t can you tell that I have a type? Uh, I love, love, love Cheriyuki's artwork and I think that Die Moon Shop's rendering style suits it really beautifully. And my other top favorite artist from them is probably Margaret Morales. This is Crystal Cat. And I got this one I think in squares because I really wanted to get lots of detail and I love the colors in this one. And then we have Goodbye Pisces, which isn't she just so striking. I love the way that the subject is looking at the camera. This is Margaret Morales as well. Uh, this was one that I picked up kind of as part of a promotion. <laughs> Normally, this style of artwork is not totally my jam, but this is called Mistress of Cranes by Jenna Wing Hu. And I think that they were doing like a promo where you got like a free some free goodies if you ordered from this artist during her new release period. So that one I got in a smaller size just to try out. Ugh, Anna Dittman. Anna Dittman's work looks so good in Die Moon Shop's uh, rendering style as well. This is called Ocean. She very much reminds me of Ariel. I love the red hair and oh my gosh, Anna Dittman's artwork is so, so, so striking. Uh, this is from an artist whose name I unfortunately tend to mispronounce a little bit. So this is from Victor Nizopsev and it's called Sleeping Blonde Mermaid. And this this was uh, something I picked up again, I think as part of a promotion they were running during his new artist launch. And then this adorable piece, this is called The Lover. It's by Saint Anne Mermaid. She has a lot of really dreamy artwork. Lots of mermaids, not always, but lots of just really beautiful ethereal artwork, including this one. Another from Saint Anne Mermaid. This one is called Under the Sea. I just love the glowy effect of this artwork. That was so pretty. 
And then this, I have a soft spot for anything Greek mythology. This is from the artist Cheryl Owen and it's called Artemis version B. So of course, Artemis, you could see the moon on her brow. Love, love, love it. Another one from Margaret Morales here. This is our ice queen. Actually, the name of this piece is Frost. And there's just 32 colors in this one, I think, because we just have so many shades of white, gray, and blue. This was on my wish list for a long time and I loved getting to pick it up. This is called Semblance, also by Margaret Morales. I adore the colors in this one so much. It's so dreamy. Another Cheriyuki for you guys. <laughs> this one is called Dream Float. Super whimsical, lots of really fun like pastel colors and super adorable. I love how her, her characters, her subjects always have that flowing white hair and the gold crown. Uh, this is one that was sent to me as part of a promotional deal because I am an affiliate for Dye Moon Shop. If you want more info on that, I have that below. But this is Morgan the Phantom Queen by Rika Raikkonen. And they sent this to me as part of her new artist launch. And Rika Raikkonen's artwork is so stunning. I love it. Love, love, love it. And the rendering on this one looks lovely as well. And then this is Elysian Vagary by Holly Morningstar. And I just love that we have these kitsunes or these foxes with nine tails. I just, I have a soft spot for all things foxes <laughs> by the same artist. Again, I think I picked up a few as part of their new artist promo. This is Sky Dancers by the same artist, Holly Morningstar. So cute. And then this is another from Jeremiah Morelli. I really wanted to try this one out in a little bit smaller size. The name of it is Of Time and Distance. And I just, oh, I love the effect of this one. This piece I think is just so, so emotional and evocative. This one is called I Miss You So Much. It's from the artist Michelle Zia or Shia. I think that's so pretty. And then this was a piece that was sent to me as part of a new artist promo. Diamond Shop sent this over. This one is called Citrine Chrysanthemum. It's by Nina Thomas. And she's so pretty. I love, 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 if you can't tell, all these different like fantasy themes. They're so beautiful. Uh, this one was on my wish list for a little while and I really wanted to try out this artist. This is called See You Again from Yishu Wang. Beautiful fan art. I have another one here from St. Anne Mermaid. This one has that kind of Art Nouveau touch, which I am a total sucker for right now. This one's called Art Nouveau One, <laughs> but I love that. And then last but not least, <laughs> I have a very large piece from Cheriyuki. This one is called Moon Lullaby, and I got this in the largest size available, hoping that I would be able to get as much of the detail as possible. I did a really similar piece to this um, a couple years back that was really large and kind of had this like room setting. It's one of my favorite pieces that I've ever completed. So um, this quickly made its way to my wish list. So that was all the kits that I have stored in my artist portfolio flat. The rest of what I have to show you is going to be in boxes. So let me grab the first round of those. So next up, I'm going to be showing you kits that I have in boxes, but I, I'm going to kind of start with the companies that I have the fewest kits from and kind of work my way up to the ones that I have the most of. So um, these first few are going to kind of be just from companies that I only have a couple, one or two from. Um, but like I said, I'm going to link to all these shops below for sure. Uh, so this first one, this is a kit from Mary's Diamonds. I'll try to pop a picture up on the screen. It is of a whale um, <laughs> swimming through space. And it was actually sent to me as a um, replacement of sorts for a version one version of this kit that I had done. This is a kit that's actually from DP with Sparklers and is licensed from um, the artist and it's of a horse and a carousel. Again, I'll try to pop up a picture on the screen. 
This is my first, but not my last kit, and here's from Jaded Gem Shop. I have several more on the way from her, and I'll put a picture up on the screen. It's called Min uh, Heart of the Forest Mini, and it's from uh, Carla Rodriguez. It's Dolly 12. I'll put a picture on the screen. And then I have, and here is a kit that was a uh, gift. It is called Don't Tickle a Sleeping Dragon and is from Uniquely Yours Down Under. It was a gift from a very sweet friend. And then we have a couple of Diamond Dots kits in here. And these were just kind of splurges. So um, I have, this one is London Parliament in Winter by Monet. And this one is Fern Fox. I don't think there's an artist, but um, uh, Diamond Dots does have all entirely licensed artwork as well. I actually have another kit from True Artist Diamond Painting that was from their very first run of kits. But I just kept it in this bubble mailer because it had the sticker on it. Uh, but this is of a dragon and is licensed from the artist. And then I have this kit, which I know the sticker is a little bit ripped, but it's called Cave Dragon and it's from Diamond Painting Shop. And they sent this one over to me as part of uh, promoting some of their new releases. And then I have a couple of kits here that are actually from Crystal Canvas Art Design. So this one, the color is actually not correct. On the end, it's more orange and pink. It's correct with the colors on the inside, but I thought this one was super cute. And then we have this adorable dragon. And then this is one that I actually picked up at Michael's with the intention of doing it for Summer with the Masters. Um, it is of the piece The Dance Class by Degas. And it was just part of their like summer make market section. I'm not sure if they're going to do these seasonally. It probably depends on how successful it was. But I thought this piece was really cute. And I kind of thought, oh, I'll try this out. So we'll see if I'll get to it this summer, if it'll wait till next. <laughs> I also have some tubes some from Craftably. And these have some of my craftably kits in them. Uh, this one I don't have the tag on the outside, but this one is of um, Escape from Eden by Tanya Shotseva. And then this one, the tag on the end, this is Java Joanna by Sheena Pike is in there. Actually, these tubes are so fun. And then this one has a light after the storm by Jody Bergsma. Those are all licensed, of course. And then I have a couple of Dreamer Designs kits. This one is Rainbow Stallion. I don't know if I'm gonna keep these kits. These may go in the de-stash pile because um, their kits tend to be so saturated I get a headache, but uh, this one is Mary Poppins Jolly Holiday that's licensed by Reagan Kubitschek. And then, don't fall over. <laughs> Uh, then I have some kits. Oh, I have this one from Treasure Studios Art. Here's the box with everything in it. And uh, this one is Dragon Dreams by Michelle Tracy. And then we also have, I have some kits from Crafties. I have a few here. So this first one, oh, it doesn't have the image on the outside. Uh, this crafties kit has a really adorable like soft and cute piece in it i'll pop the image up on the screen for you this one has a really amazing piece by civil art that has some really neat glow in the dark diamonds in it and then this one is also from civil art and it's oops uh titled harmony and also has some glow in the dark diamonds in it as well and then I have this kit from Mystical Diamond Art. I'm actually not sure if they're still open, uh, but this one's called Flaming Lotus. And then I have this adorable kit. This is from Enablers Outpost. And I believe this one is called Lullaby Dragon and it's from Emma Casey. So, 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 so cute. I can't wait to work on that one. Speaking of Enablers Outpost, I also have this one from them uh, called Golden from the artist Indie Creates. And I've worked on one of Indie Creates pieces from Enablers Outpost, and you guys, the way that it turned out was so beautiful. I love it. And then this kit that I have here is called Bed of Flowers. This is from Lola Rose Diamonds and is licensed through Shutterstock. I think the colors are so pretty. And then I 
have some of these Die Moon Shop kits in their new boxes. So they do put stickers on the end so you know what kits are inside. So like this one is Hades and Persephone. One of my favorite, favorite pieces from Margaret Morales. And then this one is Carnival Ride, also from Margaret Morales. I think these are all three from Margaret Morales because they're from a set of new releases that she did just a couple months back. And then finally, there's this one, which I'm just probably gonna have to pop a picture up on the screen because that's so blurry. Also from Margaret Morales. Love all the pinks, love all the pinks. And then finally, I have some kits from Aura Loa. This one was actually just sent to me recently and it's called Take Care by Laura Philippon. And then, I ran out of space here. <laughs> this is one that I ordered back when they very first launched. Imperatrice des Aromes, also by Laura Philippon, but I just thought she was so cozy and cute. I feel like she looks like me. <laughs> and then I actually have two versions of this kit because I bought one a while back and then they sent me one with different diamonds. So this is one they just sent me, Alicia and Aliana. This one is in square diamonds and they just sent it over. <laughs> and I had previously purchased it though in round diamonds it's huge though it's so 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 big so i'll probably give one of these away at some point because i do not think i'll be able to do both of them and then the last kit that i have from oraloa here is veunet uh rather that's the artist the name of the piece is loiseau de fay and this has uh, round diamonds so let me shift these to the side i'm gonna pull out my next round of kits Next up, I have kits from the fabulous Distracted by Diamonds. They're one of my favorite diamond painting companies out there, and uh, they make some amazing diamond painting kits. So this first one is a piece from Gretel Lusky, and I believe it's called At the Bottom. And then we have, this is a relatively new release, though also a re-release. This is called Subtropical Splendor by Puppy Gator. And then this piece is, ooh, something with magic in the title. Midnight Magic, also by Puppy Gator. And then more Puppy Gator. This is Blossom Buddies, super cute. I think it was commissioned by Distracted by Diamonds, specifically. <laughs> they do a lot of work with Puppy Gator. Uh, this is from Geneva Bowers. This is Space Letterman 2. And then, Another Geneva Bowers. I think this is one is called Plant Witch. Love her. This is also Geneva Bowers. This is Dawn. This is actually a 2.0 version. I completed the first version um, early in my diamond painting career, I suppose. It was one of my very favorite diamond paintings that I ever completed, and I adore her. So I actually got the 2.0 version, but she's she's in my rainy day stash for sure. <laughs> And then yet another from Geneva Bowers. I think this one is just called The Night. Super pretty. Uh, the rest of these have slightly different colored branding on the boxes. I think this was updated branding. Uh, this is one of the Seasons panels by Alphonse Mucha. This is spring specifically. I did one of his other Seasons panels actually <laughs> for Summer with the Masters this year. This is a brand new release. I actually still need to unbox this one as of the time of this filming. This is Red Fox by Jasmine Castillo. I actually sent this one over to Jessica at Tiny Worlds of Wonder since she works closely with their licensing and I was like, you guys should really get this one. I know you licensed Jasmine Castillo and I think that that, that particular piece is really, really gorgeous. Uh, this is Grey Pride Kitty also from Puppy Gator and was, I believe, commissioned by Distracted by Diamonds. And then this is Clandestine by Tracy Lewis. I love the flowers in this one. Then we have Zodiac, another piece by Alphonse Mucha. I love that Distracted by Diamonds has a lot of these old masters pieces. This is actually a different version of this same piece they did Zodiac a while back, but this one is a different size and a slightly different rendering, I believe. And last but not least, I have Music by Geneva Bowers. I saw one of my friends complete this one and really love how, how she turned out, so I picked this one up for myself. So those are my Distracted by Diamonds kits. I adore them, <laughs> and a lot of them are in my really in my rainy day stash. So. I'm gonna shift these out of the way, and next up is 
a veritable mountain of boxes from Diamond Art Club. So uh, we will get into those here in just a moment. So now we're getting to the Diamond Art Club kits. Now the way I've decided to do those is I've actually organized them all by artist. And so we're gonna start with the fairly sizable number of them that um, I only have one or maybe two kits from that particular artist and work our way up to the artist that I have the most from. So I'll leave it to you to guess who you think I have the most kits from artist wise. It may or may not surprise you, I suppose we'll see. Um, but this is easily the kind company that I have the most diamond painting kits from and that's for a couple of reasons. Um, one of them is that their quality is just incredibly excellent. <laughs> it's um, it's very consistent and their rendering style, they hand chart everything and um, they just make a really excellent quality kit and they're always making improvements. The other main reason though that I have so many is because I am one of the content creators that does weekly sneak peeks for them. And so I've been getting kits from them pretty regularly for over a year now for sneak peeks and sometimes multiples because they often have midweek releases. So please at least keep that in mind when you see how many that I have. Um, but yes, so that, that's kind of the explanation for why this company in particular I have so many from. Also because they just have the biggest selection out there. <laughs> they always are releasing, they're always releasing like six or eight or more new kits a week. So yeah, they just, they have the biggest selection out there. So anyway, first up, this kit is called Lack and it is from Bailey J. Love the colors in this one. And then we have Golden, which is a mermaid from Erica the Goober or Erica Wiseman. Love, love, love her mermaids. They're so cute. And then this gorgeous kit. Wow, this is a heavy box. Okay, this is What Lies Beneath from Dakota Deitweiler. Really, really looking forward to seeing more artwork from her because the only reason I only have one from her is because um, that's like the only one that's been released by Diamond Art Club so far. This is Pink Mermaid by Chimbimika Art. And this was an impulse buy a while back. This is probably going in my due stash pile. <laughs> And then this is Violet, a dragon from Sarah Richter. This one was sent to me as a sneak peek. And it has uh, lots of color blocking. It's actually a really gorgeous kit. Uh, this is a kit that I bought off a friend that was de-stashing. It is what I call one of the OG Diamond Heart Club kits. It's called, it's called No Need for Words. Um, and this is from way, way back when they first launched. And so uh, this has been discontinued for a long time now, but I have a soft spot in my heart for some of these like really old, like original Diamond Art Club kits. <laughs> and then this is called Fall Time. It's from Graham Ger Gherkin. I love all the pinks in it, super pretty. And then we've got Dragon of Fire by Robin Coney. I think that this was part of when they did a special set of releases at Michael's, but I was sent this one to sneak peek ahead of that. I hope we see more of their kits at Michael's. <laughs> this is Tea Dragon by kind of a new artist at Diamond Art Club. His name is Stanley Morrison. He has tons of this art of dragons and cups. I also have a mystery kit that you'll see later, not with the image, but it is from that same artist, but I kept it in the mystery kit category. <laughs> this is Dragon Attack by Ciro Marchetti. If you couldn't tell, I have a thing for dragons. <laughs> so there's lots and lots of dragon kits in my stash. Uh, this is Notre Dame Nights by David McLean. Now, I have since discovered that I am not necessarily super into cityscapes or landscapes, so I'm not sure that I'm gonna hold on to that one. We'll see. This is Milky Way Galaxy by CYC Grand Canyon. The colors in this one are magical, but this is also probably in my de-stash pile. Again, it's the landscape thing. It doesn't pull to me as much. Now, this one is a little bit of an exception because it's so adorable. This is Fuji Flora by Dominic Davison. And I love how colorful this is. I love the pandas. It's super cute. So this one I'm holding on to, at least for the moment. And then this is a relatively recent release called Rain Keeps Falling by Ana Morte. It has been discontinued. It was very, very, very popular. Uh, so it sold out quickly. 
This one is called Tefi. It's by Amelia Jarige. Harige. Love the colors in her. I also really love portraits, so you'll see a lot of those in my stash. Uh, this is Cloud Runner by Claudia McKinney. And then this is in my in my stash to do someday. Angie and Oliver by Hannah Lynn. I don't normally gravitate towards Hannah Lynn's artwork, but I thought this was really adorable and has some really pretty colors in it. Here is another kind of OG kit, as I call it. I found this on a third party website. This is really, really old. This one is called Winged Fox actually looking for the others in this series still because I think they're so adorable and they're itty bitty 32 by 45 centimeters round diamonds but just so cute I can't help it <laughs> uh, this is Arctic Lights by Bridget Voth a little bit of an impulse buy to be honest but I thought a picky could be cute to do in the winter I think it goes from when Diamond Art Club discontinued a bunch of pieces all at once and I was like oh no I'm gonna miss out this is a recent release called Mason Jar Flags. It was released on this past 4th of July weekend. It's by Susan Wingett. She has a lot of uh, pieces that have these jars and are seasonal. So I thought this, I love all things like, um, like modern farmhouse and country. And I like the flowers in this one. This one was a little bit outside my comfort zone. It's still in the plastic wrap, but this is Artemisa from Ennis Guerrero. You might've remembered me mentioning in, um, when I was showing you the diamond shop kits, the canvases, and there was an Artemis kit in there. I was like, I'm a sucker for all things Greek mythology. Now, normally this artist's artwork is a bit too dark for me, just in terms of subject matter, but this one really caught my eye. So we'll see if I end up actually doing it, but I thought it was really, really pretty anyway. This is Fox by Richard Clifton. He's a pretty new artist at Diamond Art Club. And I did this one as a sneak peek recently. Interesting to see some like really hyper realistic art as a diamond painting actually. Evening Light from Jeremiah Kettner. This was a Black Friday release a couple years back. Actually reminds me of another art piece from another artist, but I love the cats and the colors in this one. This is the really incredibly sweet Celestial by Katie Bergeren. Uh, this was a Mother's Day release this year from Diamond Art Club and it just tugged at my heartstrings because of kind of that meaning behind it. So love that one. And then we've got Night Kitsune. This is actually also from Jeremiah Kettner. I meant to keep these two together. Uh, this was a Black Friday release. I think this past Black Friday. Or maybe that was an anniversary release. It all starts to run together, you guys. <laughs> uh, this is the only Jasmine Beckett Griffith I currently have from Diamond Art Club. This is 208 Faces of Fairy. Has total steampunk vibes. I want to do this for um, the punk event that Knox does one of these summers. And then we have Cavalier Cat by Jeff Haney. This was a little bit of a, of a splurge, you guys super cute this one i've had for a while this is after the rain by olha darchuk and this was one of the releases was this one of the ones they did as part of like cheryl burke's collection a couple years back that'll be really fun to do in fall which is coming up <laughs> and then this is actually a partial it's called healing by sharon cummings and i just loved the rainbow of colors in this one. I thought it was so, 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 so pretty. And then, oh, this is another Hannah Lynn. I forgot that I had this one as well. Ice Princess by Hannah Lynn. This is actually also in my D stash pile though. <laughs> it was one that I picked up a couple years back and I just don't know that it's calling my name as much anymore. <laughs> this is Wolf Shaman by Dean Russo. Um, unfortunately, this set of kits from him was discontinued pretty quickly because of a licensing issue, but has lots of bright colors. This was a sneak peek I was sent. And then this is the absolutely beautiful Dusk to Dawn from Deborah Malcolm. She posts some gorgeous artwork and she's always creating beautiful artwork and sharing it in the Diamond Art Club group. 
This is a big one, 155 centimeters by 51. And then we've got, this is Scaredy Cats, misspelled. <laughs> oh, this is by Jeff Haney as well. I did show another kit from him just now. Sorry, some of these artists that I just have a couple from, I I missed <laughs> that putting them together. But here's a couple that I did not miss putting together. So um, I have this one from Chuck Pinson. I think it was a Black Friday release this year. It's called Swan Pond. And I know I said I'm not really a landscape person, uh, but this one's a little bit smaller and it has, uh, it does have squares. I like the colors in it, so we'll see. And then this one is probably in my d stash pile because it's very big <laughs> and it's a landscape and I just am not feeling called to those. This is Island Life. It is a really beautiful, beautiful piece though. And I love so much about the artwork. This is also from Chuck Pitson. And then I have a couple of dragon kits from Heather R. Hitchman. This is the Dragon Lantern. I love this one. It's so cute. And then this is the Leviathan. Epic, epic dragon. And then keeping in the fantasy theme, I have two kits from Herb Leonard. This is Merlin. Oh my gosh, I've seen this one completed and it's incredible. Very large, very large. <laughs> and this is Butterfly Dragon. And I think that I, I saw that he actually based this, like he, he took a photo um, to kind of give himself a point of reference of him like doing the expression of that character. And then I have these two little snack size kits just for fun. <laughs> this is Cat and Cupcake by Marilyn Casanave. And is it Friday yet? This is, I think, is it an Amazon exclusive? But I got it from Amazon, hence the barcode on it. <laughs> Same artist. And I just thought it would be nice to have some snack size kits in my stash. <laughs> So now we're getting into kits that I have multiple from these different artists. The first up is from Roy Trin or Roy the Heart. Uh, this is Persephone, absolutely gorgeous. Remember what I said about mythology? <laughs> and then also from the same artist, I have a few in the Zodiac series. So I picked up Aquarius. Some of these I bought just because they were limited edition. I didn't want to miss out. Sagittarius, because I just love this artwork, even though I'm not a Sagittarius. <laughs> uh, Libra, because she is gorgeous. <laughs> and then my actual sign, which is Scorpio. And they sent this one to me to unbox. And yes, it is misspelled. <laughs> uh, and then I have a few kits from JoJo's art. This is Into Wonderland. Actually, this one has been in my de-stash pile for a while, but de-stashing is hard. It takes time and effort. This is Wisdom. I actually really love this one. I've had this one for a long time. And then finally, this is Dream. Do you recognize the artwork? It's the same artwork that is on the front of all the boxes that have squares on them, in them. Square-shaped diamonds, that is. And then here I have some mystery kits. I grouped the mystery kits together. Do not worry, you're not gonna get spoilers. You're just gonna get the, the genre and the artist's name, which is what Diamond Art Club tells you anyway. Uh, so this one is in the theme Fantasy Variety from Chris Ortega. I actually did unbox this one on the channel if you're curious. And then this one is Stanley Morrison, who we looked at one of his pieces earlier. Mystery Kit Fantasy Dragon. <laughs> they might as well have just slapped my name right on there. <laughs> and then this one is also Mystery Kit Fantasy Dragon. This one is Ann Stokes. I have not looked at this one yet though. So those are the three mystery kits I currently have in my stash. Uh, next up, I have some kits from Safina Art. This one is Alice in a Bottle. It's actually a partial. I really adore Safina Art's <laughs> artwork. Uh, a lot of it is a Disney fan art almost. So this is Skull Mermaid. This was discontinued and so I, I snatched this one up. And um, this one was discontinued as well and so I grabbed her Girl Reading. I just love her art, it's so pretty. <laughs> now I have a couple of kits from Chrisabug who I adore her artwork and basically want all of it that Diamond Art Club gets. This is Goddess of Night. Chris a bug and then midnight spell which I adore I think this was an anniversary release and I got to do this one as a sneak peek and then finally I have a couple of kits from Ann Stokes this one is dragon warrior this was a sneak peek Ann Stokes has lots of like high fantasy artwork and then we have a fire dragon also by Ann Stokes 
a mama protecting her babies. <laughs> Next, we have a couple from Ivy Dolomore. This is Fairy Lights. And The Moon Thief, which I just unboxed recently. Love that. And then I have a few kids from the MacNeil Studio, which I'm so sad the Diamond Art Club no longer is able to license their work. This is Bringing Home the Tree. They have really beautiful seasonal pieces. So I grabbed what I could. Forest Snowman. Super. And then this is Nativity. Lots and lots of Christmassy themed kits, as you can see. Um, and then Magical Tree, which I think would pair really well with um, the snowman one I just showed you. And then Halloween Haunted House. I actually picked this one up in a D stash and was super excited about it. And then I have a couple of kits from Sheena Pike. This was Spring Little Dragons. And this one was Rainbow Little Dragons. This was an Amazon exclusive kit. It's the smaller size than the one they had on the website. Unfortunately, they lost um, the ability to license with Sheena Pike as well, which is a huge, huge bummer. I have a few cuts here from Demetra Milan. This is Arrival. Love her. And then Raining Fire. The colors are gorgeous. And then finally, Running the Distance. Love that one. I have a few kits from Sarah Mustafa, who's another personal favorite of mine. This is Halloween Witch. Maybe I'll get to this one this year. And then Coral, which was discontinued. I love her. I love her so much. <laughs> and then for some Avatar The Last Airbender inspired work, this is Lady of the Lake. And another moon goddess we have ua there i have a couple of kits from willowing art who move their licensing over maybe they have it at multiple places but uh, this is fox wisdom which i actually completed this artwork by another company i picked this one up um, because not only do i love the artwork but i kind of want to compare it so <laughs> we'll see if i can get to that at some point and then sleeping beauty i just loved all the pinks in her she's so and then I have several kits by Amy Brown. I really, really love her artwork a lot. This is the Oracle. She has a lot of like fantasy and whimsical artwork. I love this one so much. This is called What's In Here. I love her little dragons. Oh my gosh, I love her little dragons so much. This is Love Dragons. How cute are they? And then story time, another with this purple dragon. I wanted to say this maybe was the first one that was released by her at Diamond Art Club. And then this one, which does not have dragons, but is still stunning. This is Lady of the Forest. Gorgeous. All right, next up is Galaxy Girl by Molly Harrison. Really, really hoping we get some more artwork from her as well. There's, I think it's a lot of special drills in this kit. And then also by Molly Harrison, this is Witch Way. This is a big one. I was like, it's heavy when I picked it up. And then I have several from Josephine Wall, who no longer licenses with Diamond Art Club. It's so sad. But this is Taurus. I believe I had that one as a sneak peek. And then Snow Queen was also a sneak peek. Gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. And then we have Aries. They did the whole Zodiac from Josephine Wall before it was discontinued. And then Titanian Oberon, which was another one of those kits, I think, from the Cheryl Burke release a couple years back. And then finally, we have a Magical Meeting. This one is so, 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 so pretty. Now I have a couple of like my personal favorite artists that if Diamond Art Club had more of their artwork, they would be in like my top number of artwork that I own. <laughs> this is Phases from You May Art. Absolutely adore their artwork. And then Petals Fall. I'm very, very much hoping we get the rest of the Glass Instruments series. This is stunning. And then Sakura Festival. Again, this one gets the exception to my uh, no cityscapes landscapes rule. <laughs> and then finally, Capture the Sky. Gosh, that's gorgeous. 
Lots of dark drills in that one. <laughs> Another of my absolute personal favorite artists is Raven Phelan. This is Phoenix. And then one of the very first kits they had from her, this is I Am. Gorgeous. This was a recent release and I'm in love. <laughs> this is the Light Weaver. Amazing, amazing artwork. And then this one has a very, very soft spot in my heart because Soulmates, this was the very first sneak peek I ever got to do for Diamond Art Club. I adore this one. And then Paint the Stars. I love this. Oh my gosh. Love it, love it, love it. It looks stunning when it's completed. I love it. <laughs> These next ones that I have for you are all in special packaging because they came as part of special licensing deals that Diamond Art Club made with uh, companies like Nickelodeon, DC Comics, and Warner Brothers. So this first one I have for you, this is Friends, licensed Friends artwork. This is Central Perk. And then this is the Night on the Polar Express. And you can see that special packaging again. Love it. And then this is licensed through Nickelodeon, Avatar The Last Airbender artwork. <laughs> the name of this this uh, kit is Ang Kata Katara and Sokka. A fun, fun branding. And then I have a bunch of DC war uh, comics related. So this one is called The Golden Lasso, obviously Wonder Woman themed. I love the artwork on the box and all the, the special elements on the sides and whatnot as well. And then this one is literally just titled Batman. <laughs> Some classic uh, comic book artwork. Love that. Again, all that amazing branding on these. Speaking of Batman, <laughs> this was a recent release called Partners in Crime. Love this so much. Perfect for Pride Month. I think that was what it was released as part of. And then this Batman panel is absolutely amazing. <laughs> kind of just a very classic Batman look from an artist we know and love. And then we have a couple of Suicide Squad themed ones. This one's called Harley Quinn in the Red Dress and was highly anticipated because they teased this in an ad for a little while before it actually came out. But the colors in it are amazing. And then finally, this one is literally just called the Suicide Squad and it is this kind of poster style of artwork. So fun. Uh, the rest of these are all Harry Potter related. So it was a huge deal when Diamond Art Club got licensing with Harry Potter. This one is Hermione Granger, Magical. And it, they all have this white branding with kind of the gold foil effect. Gorgeous. And then this was an Amazon exclusive. This was the Hogwarts Crest Fine Oddities in Beige. By comparison, I also have <laughs> Hogwarts Crest Fine Oddities in Black, which was part of the very first set of Harry Potter releases that Diamond Art Club put out. Also part of the first release of Harry Potter hits, this is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. It's that classic first movie poster. And then I love this art style so much. It's so pretty. The Boy Who Lived is the name of this piece. I've seen a lot of other art in this art style and I'm really hoping that, that we're gonna get some more of it. We have Fox over here on the side. And then we've got Hogwarts and Hedwig here. I feel like I've seen this image on like puzzles and stationery and stuff. Like it must be a common one that they license out. <laughs> Uh, and then I have each of the house crests. I love this style of artwork. And so I picked up each of the four house crests in this one. This is the Gryffindor crest, tomes and scrolls. Each of these kits only has like a handful of colors in it as well, these crests do. Here's Hufflepuff. And they all are like Hufflepuff crest, tomes and scrolls. So like, they all have that, that ending. Here is Slytherin. Love that. 
And then of course my own house, Ravenclaw. <laughs> Love it. I thought that would be so fun to do the four of them together as a set. Uh, this is kind of like the Harry version of that pink Hermione artwork we saw. This is called Harry Potter Spell Magical. And then this was similar to that other Harry Potter artwork that we saw. This is Schoolwork and Friends. Again, I adore that art style. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So that's all the licensed artwork that I have. Now the next, I have two more artists to show you and both of them, I have quite a few kits from them. Uh, so I'm gonna get all of those together and ready to go and share those with you. So we're down to the last two artists. I have quite a few kits from both of these. And by this point, you may have guessed. <laughs> I'm not sure if you'll know which I have more from. So it's really close though. I have a really similar amount from both, but my second to last artist is actually Randall Spangler. So first up, this is Moonlight Bath. This is a really, really tall one. I think it was limited edition, so I picked it up really quickly. Uh, there are a couple of kits here that interestingly are customizable. <laughs> this is Wedding Memories. And there's space up here where you can actually customize and put in letters for, you know, if you want to commemorate an occasion or something. Similarly, we have a baby draggling. You can do the same thing with the banner at the bottom. I thought that was so cute. <laughs> Speaking of customizable, this is customized bookshelf. And I don't know that I've really seen a lot of people take advantage and customize this one, but you totally can. The books that is. There's one more customizable one somewhere in here, but I'm not sure where it is. We'll get to it soon. Uh, this is Reading Tree, which I think is a totally classic Randall Spangler piece. I think I got this one as a sneak peek. For Halloween, we have Boo. <laughs> super, super cute. And then Afternoon Tea. This is one of those pieces that I see stolen so often, and I love that Diamond Art Club got this one licensed. We've got so many books, so little time. I love this one. I think it's so cute, but it's huge and it's square, so it's going to take a while. Ah, here's the other customizable one. Another event you can customize for. This is for graduation. <laughs> so you can customize on the plaque here on the front. And then we've got Bubble Fairies. Super cute. And then this is one of the very first ones that they licensed from him. You can see there's the older style label on it. This is Flight of the Fireflies. Love that. Uh, this is a more recent release. This is Elder Secret. We have dragons, but not just like his usual draglings. And then for a break from his usual artwork, Sail Away. Yes, this is a Randall Spangler piece. It's really, really pretty. And then we have this adorable one, Oh, for a Book and Shady Nook. I think this one is so cute. And then this is in my rainy day stash. This is the universe in a jar. This was my unicorn for a long time because it was out of stock at Diamond Art Club for a while. This was early, early on, um, like back in 2020. And as soon as this one came back, it's like, I was like, yay. So um, again, one of the very first Randall Spangler kits they released and is definitely in my rainy day stash. We have a kitchen helpers. There are a lot of really common themes in Randall Spangler's uh, artwork with his draglings. <laughs> you sometimes see a lot of like cookies and cats and stuff. But then we have jack o lantern time, which is again, another <laughs> seasonal Halloween kit. Oh, this one. Oh my goodness, Train of Dreams. I don't know how well it's gonna show up because that is a massive image in thumbnail form. This is huge, 173 by 46 centimeters. It's a big one. <laughs> Uh, and then the literate dragon, she's cute. And this one I just recently unboxed. This is Coral Castle, another one of those pieces that really is not his standard like dragons that we've come to expect, but amazing artworks all the same. Similarly, we have some enchanted evening again. A style that of his artwork that we hadn't really seen up till this point, 
This is absolutely incredible though. I've seen it completed and it's breathtaking. And then we have Curl Up with a good book. See the cats, the chocolate chip cookies, the books. <laughs> Lots of really similar themes in his artwork. And then last but not least, cookies and classics. Again, books, cats, cookies, <laughs> all the good things. So those are all my Randall Spangler kits. Let me go ahead and I'm going to pull out the last of my stash, all from an artist that I absolutely adore. So before we get into the last artist, I found a straggler kit, a straggler, a stra straggler Randall Spangler. Fairy tale dreams. He decided to hop in with the Mandy Manzanos, but we didn't want to miss him. Look how cute he is. <laughs> so Mandy Manzano, I already said it. That is the artist that I have the most kits from. And I've done a lot of hunting down my unicorns to complete some collections in here that you'll see towards the end. But let's get started with some of the others. So first up is this adorable little kit called You Must Believe. I've had this one for a little while. You could tell from the old style sticker. Uh, this one, Minion Love, is, come on, focus camera, uh, is super cute. It was discontinued pretty quickly after it was released, but it's, it's fine. <laughs> Undersea Dreaming, I love her so much. Obviously, she has major aerial vibes, and I adore her. Next up is this recent new release called Aphrodite. Again, with the Greek mythology, you guys, I'm telling you. <laughs> And then I've had this one for a while. I really want to work on it this Christmas. The Sugar Plum Fairy. The colors in this one are amazing. And then this cute little snack size painting is called Magical Mama. I love all the pretty soft pastels in here. And then Fathoms Below. This has actually been in my D stash pile for a while just because I have a lot of kits. I'm trying to downsize a little bit, but it's hard. I have both of the Doctor Who inspired kits that were released, the 10th and the 11th. I'd like her to do some of the more recent Doctors as well. And nine, nine doesn't get enough love. <laughs> and then we have a few in this fairy series. I'm hoping we get to see more. This is the Tinker Fairy. And then we've got the Light Bearer here. And then the Water Fairy. So this, these are the only three that have been released so far. Again, I'm hoping that we get more, <laughs> more elemental fairies. <laughs> and then these are the roughly Disney inspired ones. We have Fairy Tale Sleeping Beauty. Off to Neverland. These sizes are really, really good sizes too. Uh, all these kits I think are in that like 50 to 70 or 40 to 60 range, so. My favorite spot for sizes cinderella this is a much older kit actually 42 by 59. rapunzel also 42 by 59. one little bite obviously snow white 42 by 59 too <laughs> and then this is one that i managed to hunt down uh called hello beastie 47 by 63. This one was discontinued very, very early on. Now, as I'm getting into some of these kits, you're gonna see some kits that I know are uh, very highly sought after. I do wanna say right up front before we get into the rest of these, that none of these are for sale. They are living in my collection forever. I am planning to do all of them. Um, I just wanna just very gently ask that you please don't ask if I'll be selling them. <laughs> so if I were to sell them, I already know specific people that have said they're their unicorns and that sort of thing. So, but anyway, I just, I wanted to put that disclaimer out there, okay? <laughs> so I did manage to track down Darth Daddy for myself. This was a unicorn of mine for a long time. It was discontinued right after I started diamond painting. Um, and I never got the chance to snag this one when it was officially released. It sounds like the box is coming apart a little bit. I'll have to take that up. But I love, love, love that artwork. Okay, this one is not like really in demand, but I put it in with, these are kind of the like families and couples, but the world was ours. It's kind of Peter Pan inspired. And then Fixer Uppers. I think this also had another name at one point. I think it was like found love in a frozen place or something. I don't remember what it was, but I love that. Again, these are kind of like the, these kits are like the couples. These are the couples. So this is something sweet. This is one of the few that I was able to snag myself when it released. And then Choose You, 
love the colors in this one. And then this one was my unicorn for forever and ever. If you watched my last stash video, I mentioned this one by name. I found something about her. <laughs> this was my unicorn for two years. I was over the moon when I managed to find her. Now the rest of these, okay, so I did manage to complete my collection of Manny Manzano princess panels. You'll see all of them here with the exception of one worth melting for, which is the Anna panel, which I completed. It was actually the third kit that I ever did. My first time at art club I ever completed, um, but I have the rest of them to share with you all today. So. First up, this was one that I was really, 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 really wanting. This is the Brave one. And then we've got Giselle. And then the Daughter of Honor. A few of these I did pick up when they were available in Diamond Art Club Shop. A few of them I had to track down. <laughs> Actually, some of them very recently. The Bayou Lady. the fairest of them all these are all about the same size if you're interested in trying to do one of these panels yourself i know they're quite popular and people are always asking oh is diamond art club going to get them again don't ask the answer is no and has been no for some time uh, but you can get cross stitch uh you can do a cross stitch conversion where there's um manny manzano has licensed out her artwork to creatively stitching and you can find all these princess panels along with some other panels of hers that you can get as cross stitch charts and convert to a diamond painting this is the fairy. And then the desert princess. That was one I snagged from Diamond Art Club's shop. Uh, and then the sleeping beauty. And then we've got the beauty. I actually need to open this one up and see. I don't know which version this is. I just found out recently that there are apparently a couple of different versions of the beauty that were released that have some different like coloring and stuff and rendering. So I should check and see which one I have. <laughs> the Snow Queen to go with Anna, of course. And then Make a Wish, Take a Bite. And then a few here that are really, I feel like some of my really crown jewel like favorites in here. So I actually was able to do a trade with a friend, her daughter of, P the daughter of peace. So, 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 so pretty. And then the lost princess. Oh my gosh, I about cried happy tears. I couldn't believe when I found her. I adore Rapunzel. And then, you know, I love Ariel. <laughs> I got the daughter of, a, of the Sea King. Many of these thanks to friends that helped me hunt, hunt them down, um, but it took a lot of time and a lot of diligence. So the most I can recommend is just to be super, super patient when you're trying to hunt down unicorns and be really like polite and respectful as well. But you guys, this is it. This is the last of my diamond painting stash to show you all. Um, these Mandy Manzano kits in particular are just I feel like treasures <laughs> and my favorites easily so um, now I'm gonna pack this all away and I'll be back to chat with you guys just a little bit more all right you guys there we have it I am utterly exhausted <laughs> if you think you're tired powering through that log video with me man I can't tell you I feel like I'm still sore so I had so much fun going through my diamond painting stash with you all. Um, I hope that you had fun going on this little journey as well. It was really fun to revisit some kits that I had picked up very early on in my diamond painting career. Um, and I definitely got some ideas for kits that I am thinking that I'll de-stash here in the near future. So, um, I would love to hear from you guys. Do you have a craft or another hobby that you enjoy collecting as well? I know I'm a huge fan of watching other people's stash videos. And uh, just to pop this up one more time in case you missed it at the beginning, here is the house that my husband helped me build out of Diamond Art Club boxes. <laughs> so I originally was planning to use all of my kits and boxes. So um, honorary mention to these kits, which 
our non-Diamond Heart Club kits and I just couldn't quite fit in the frame for the picture. Um, but yes, yeah, so this was a lot of fun, you guys. Um, I will also link to a list that I've compiled with my modmin team in the facebook group that i run with my friend Lindsay over at emeralds and fairy lights um we actually put together a list and we're trying to keep it up to date as well of diamond painting companies that offer entirely legally licensed artwork so uh, check out the link to that google doc below and it should automatically update uh, since it's a live document um, but yeah go go check out some shops that offer licensed artwork and be sure to support the artists in that way as well you guys, thanks for hanging out with me for this epic, epic journey of a stash video. I hope you had lots of fun. Um, let me know if you have any snarky thoughts or questions <laughs> below. Um, and yeah, let me know if you're a fellow collector. How many diamond paintings are in your stash? Also, you guys, don't forget to subscribe. I share tons of different diamond painting content here on my channel. Um, honestly, stash videos are very, very few and far between. It's mostly things like post reviews of completed kits and lots of unboxings and tips and tricks and tutorials. If you're brand new to diamond painting or thinking of trying it out, I have a diamond painting for beginners video as well as a playlist with some other helpful um, tutorials as well. So be sure to check those out. All right, my friends, I hope you have an amazing, amazing day and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.